the talking teddy bear who cusses and gets high is back. everybody this is 22 tiger dude here and i'm here to review ted 2. so ted 2 is the sequel to the 2012 comedy ted and it is seth MacFarlane returning to write and direct this movie so ted 2 does star mark Wahlberg with seth MacFarlane returning to voice ted along with amanda seyfried and morgan freeman Ted 2 is about when Ted and Tammy Lynn want to have a baby when lately their marriage hasn't been going off so well. So Ted now tries to look for a sperm to go get a baby. But the problem is that Ted now has to go into the court of law. The law. To prove that he is just as human as the other humans in this world. So going into Ted 2, I was really excited for this because I love, and I really do mean I love, the original Ted. I thought it was hilarious. It's personally one of my favorite comedies to come out this decade. I just really adore that film. I thought Seth MacFarlane really hit it out of the park. And then his next film, A Million Ways to Die in the West? Yeah, he didn't really hit out of the park with that one. Although, I don't hate that film like a lot of people do. I do think it was just like an okay, decent film. I still stand by what I pretty much said in my review for that film. But yeah, I mean, with that was, it could have been a lot better. So with Ted 2, I was kind of hoping it would go back to being the original. I wasn't expecting this to be as good as the original. I was just hoping to come into a comedy sequel worth watching because... Comedy sequels, a lot of the times, they're not that good, and I really was hoping Ted 2 would not go into that category, at least in my opinion. And thank goodness, in my opinion, of course, Ted 2 is actually a comedy sequel that is worth watching. Now, it's not as good as the first Ted, and like I said, I wasn't going into this movie expecting to be as good. I just wanted to laugh, and you know what? I laughed a lot watching Ted 2. There's even times where, even though I love the first one, there's some scenes where I actually kind of laughed a little harder than some of the scenes in Ted. The weird thing is, even if this one's not as good as Ted, there's certain things I actually appreciate just a little bit more. Mark Wahlberg does a really good job as John, and of course, the character John and Ted still have that bromance that we're known for in the original film. Their chemistry is still there. You buy that they are the Thunder Buddies and they just work off so well. And it's amazing how Mark Wahlberg, when he's filming, he has to pretend like he's actually talking to a teddy bear because you know they add the CGI effect to Ted later on. And the same thing goes to Amanda Seyfried who does replace Mila Kunis in this film. I love Amanda Seyfried, honestly, I think she's a wonderful actress, and when I heard she was announced to be in Ted 2, I could not wait how she was going to handle this, and she was great. Now, unlike in A Million Ways to Die in the West, where it wasted Amanda Seyfried, like just utterly wasted her talent, Ted 2 actually uses Amanda Seyfried's talent to her full advantage and I'm so glad for that because like I said I love Amanda Seyfried I think she's a great actress and for her to be in a role like this it's really entertaining to watch she has funny moments Ted has funny moments, John has funny moments. Um, when it comes to these three leads, they each get to have their own moments to shine and bring laughter. And I thought they just all pulled it off very nicely. Morgan Freeman's in here too, but he's not in this film for too long. However, he's Morgan Freeman. You still like the guy. So for the moments he is on screen, he still does a very nice job. And there's even cameo appearances into this film that I actually thought was really funny. The best cameo appearance by far is inside this grocery store. All I'm gonna say is that 
That was by far one of the funniest moments of 2015. What I actually really appreciated about TED 2, however, is how even though this film is funny, it does actually give really good social commentary on equality. And yes, even though it's dealing with Ted, who is obviously a teddy bear, I thought how this film used the message of equality was actually handled very well, and it was actually quite thought-provoking. It still uses that message for, of course, its jokes too, but it actually does take the overall message pretty seriously at the same time, and I did really appreciate it. Just like with the first film, I did think the CGI on Ted looks fantastic. He still looks like a teddy bear that moves around, and every time I look at Ted, it just does not look like a CGI bear. That's the thing that really impresses me about these movies. A lot of humor in this film really does make me laugh and that's just because of how great the writing for this movie is and how great the chemistry between John, Ted, and Amanda Seyfried's character was. In a way, I kind of like the whole Amanda Seyfried bond with Ted and John, maybe just a little more than Mila Kunis in the first film. And I still love that whole aspect in the first film, but for some reason, I kind of liked it a little bit more in Ted 2. And honestly, I love how Seth MacFarlane keeps his style that he has with his shows like with Family Guy, American Dad. You know, Seth MacFarlane does have a very unique style to his films that I really loved. And yes, even though I wasn't a fan of A Million Ways to Die in the West, I still appreciated the Seth MacFarlane style that was brought. His music, that's the one thing I will say about Seth MacFarlane. I love the music that he incorporates in his shows, in his movies, and Ted too. I love the music music here as much as I love the music in A Million Ways to Die in the West and the first head and the opening crest of Ted 2 I absolutely love there's like no singing it's just like tapping and all that but it was really cool it was like in this Broadway musical style just the music that's incorporated into Seth MacFarlane movies it fits and I do think the heartwarming moments in Ted 2 were handled very well I will say the heart doesn't really work as well as the first film, however, but I still thought it did work well, and I still did care about these characters. Now, my only flaws with Ted 2 is that, yes, here and there, the jokes aren't going to work, and you know, it's kind of like the same with the first one, like, really, the jokes that missed with me for the first one was when they used the 9-11 joke, and like, fart jokes like four times and it's kind of the same here where like there was like a 9-11 joke used here and I didn't really laugh at that one but honestly it's just far in between that the humor misses also I did feel like Giovanni Ribisi even though I really like him it was unnecessary to just throw him into this movie I didn't find it necessary for Giovanni Ribisi to really come back here I just thought it was pointless and I will say that the third act even though I still really enjoyed the third act it did feel like a little bit of a rehash from the first film's third act but just a little bit not by too much in all honesty overall guys Ted 2 is an outstanding comedy film. I probably enjoyed Ted 2 more than most people, which is cool. Great to see Ted again. Great to see John again. Amanda Seyfried really blended well with this world. And honestly, it did what a comedy sequel is supposed to do, which is just to make you laugh, have you entertained. Ted 2, in my opinion, succeeded at doing that. So I'm going to give Ted 2 three and a half out of four stars. So you guys in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Ted 2 and also what are your thoughts on the original film and which Ted film do you like better, Ted or Ted 2? Also let me know what's your favorite Seth MacFarlane movie so far as well as your favorite Seth MacFarlane show. This is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.